Phyllis Barone, Golf 360 TV. We are here in Ireland, and we are with John McLaughlin, a good friend of ours from North and West Coast Links. He is the CEO. So, John, we have been having a blast here for the past couple days, thanks to you and your hospitality. So, tell us, what do you guys do to make it all happen? Thank you, Phyllis. Yeah, so uh, North and West Coast Links, we've been in operation for 35 years now at this stage. Uh, we're I suppose there's two different sides to our business. We're a marketing company, first of all. Uh, we have a number of member clubs, and uh, you played uh, Enniscrone today. Yes, uh, Enniscrone. Yeah, and we have Cairn, uh, Donegal, Strand Hill, uh, Port Salon, uh, Northwest, Ballyliffin, Castle Rock, Port Stewart, Royal Port Rush, and then around uh, the east side to County Louth and to Jamison Links and Port Marnock. So we've, uh, you know, we've a good stable of, of great courses that we do uh, international marketing for, and then we have a number of hotels that we work with and transport companies also. Okay. Uh, so we work on behalf of tour operators and we work on behalf of consumers. So people book their itineraries with us. Uh, we put the whole thing together. So golf, accommodation, transport, whiskey tasting, fishing, <laughs> shooting, sightseeing, swimming, whatever, whatever you need to do. Uh, we we put the whole package together. This is my first time in Ireland, and I thank you again for having me. And I think it's really important that people see a Lynx course because we don't have anything like it in the U.S. Yeah, they're they're uh, strange animals, all right. <laughs> I mean, they're they're beautiful pieces of land. Uh, the land that links the the sea to the to the coastline, uh, sand based. Um, and as you know, we get a little rain sometimes in Ireland, and because of the um, sand underneath, uh, there's, there's no issues with drainage or anything like that. They never get flooded. Uh, weather, is, um, weather is pretty decent during the summer here. Our, our golf season stretches from um, March to October. So we're here in October, and uh, here we are, nice, nice weather. The golf is one side of it, sure. uh, but golf is only half a day, and uh, there's so many things to do in Ireland, and so much fun to, to be had. Uh, great food, um, great bars, restaurants, and uh, the, we call it the crack. We have great crack, great fun in Ireland. <laughs> yes. yeah. I can attest to that because we've been having a great time since we've been here. So, but tell us a little bit about, I know you have a bevy of courses that yeah. you talked about. So, and, and they're all kind of unique, John, in, in their own way. So tell us a little bit about the courses and why they're so unique. Yeah, well, there's only 150 uh, Lynx golf courses in the world. And uh, we have a third of the world's Lynx courses here in Ireland. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, that's unique, first of all, uh, you know, Lynx, Lynx Golf. Sure. Um, so I think for Americans, um, they want to come and play Lynx Golf at some point. We try to get as many people as we can into these gems in the West and Northwest and Northern Ireland. Uh, you know, some of the best golf courses in the world, or I'll put Russia in our group. Uh, number 12 in the world so the other golf courses um, I think people are surprised when they get to the other golf courses uh, how good they are. Uh, I, I, I agree with that because from my standpoint I'm you know an amateur golfer and I like the fact that if you can roll your ball you can roll it up to the green you put, actually putt about from 40 feet out so I love it so I don't have to have that lofted shot and stick it up well sometimes you do but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we do a lot of ladies ladies golf and a lot of couples trips um, and yeah, I mean, it's a good mix of good mix of people and it's getting busy now for next year with with the open coming back to Royal Port Rush. Uh, we're ticket providers for the uh, for the open. So we've, we've hospitality packages together. So uh, a week's golf and a couple of days at the open. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be great. OK, one last thing we are had We're staying here at the Mount Falcon, right? So tell us a little bit about that because you the owner here and you guys go way back, right? Yeah, when when Alan was uh, Alan Maloney, when there were Working on it many, many years ago, uh, I came down and met Alan and we went through the place and he was showing me, I mean, it was, it was in need of uh, a lot of work. And uh, I suppose they spent nearly 30 million uh, between all the beautiful lodges they have around the place and, uh, and the hotel. And, you know, it's a fantastic place. It's a real family run hotel. So we have a, you know, a bunch of hotels that we have kind of, their preferred hotels that we, we like to work with. Um, and they offer a, a fantastic service and great food. Uh, Ireland is, is a real foodie country, uh, as you know. know that. Uh, it's like an eating competition since you arrived. Um, <laughs> but it is. 10 pounds already. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, the food is good. Um, and uh, yeah, people enjoy it.